Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. The Centerville Arts Commission offers moving expressions. That's going to be on May 19th. And here to tell us more, we have a member of the Arts Commission, Michelle Van Hus, and Assistant to the City Manager, Kristen Gottman. Thank you both for being here. And we should say that Christ, Kristen, um, Michelle is doing double duty for us because not only are you a member of the Arts Commission, but you also work for DCDC. I do. I work for Dayton Contemporary Dance Company, DCDC. Uh, as a company, we're happy to be celebrating 50 years right along the city of yeah, Centerville. Yeah, big so, 50 year with us. Birthday twins. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're definitely uh, excited to bring our second company, so DCDC2. It's a, a pre-professional company um, that, we, uh, that we've had for almost as long as the company itself, uh, since about 1975. Um, they have been doing a lot of, uh, it's, well, it's a training ground for the dancers themselves. Well, I was going to ask, so um, when you're DCDC2 you're, and you said yes. pre-professional, mm -hmm. that means you're what kind of dancer? So typically, uh, the dancers that are in this program might uh, still be in college. Um, okay. We actually have a long, a, a long-standing partnership with Wright State University uh, and their dance department. So some of the dancers actually receive scholarship for participating uh, not only as a dance major oh, at Wright State, okay. but for participating in uh, DCDC too. Um, so some are college age still, from uh, not only from Wright State University but other colleges in the in the region, um, and some are maybe just out of college, um, still um, building up their professional resumes. Uh, so they'll come spend a year with us here in Dayton, Ohio and, and the surrounding area um, before they move on to other companies. And we've had dancers that have gone well, all say, over the DC, country. DC is a, is, has a great reputation worldwide. Yes, yes. So, I mean, it's, it's a great, it's a great yeah. training ground for the dancers. Um, I mean, we have uh, dancers that have gone on to all sorts of different uh, performing arts um, opportunities and different dance companies and, and uh, Broadway and all over the place um, that have come out of our, our second company. So, Yay, DC, DC, bunch. right here in, in Dayton, Ohio. That's right fantastic. Here in Dayton, Ohio. So, this show is going to be, as we said, on Saturday, May 19th. It starts at 3 o'clock. It's going to be at Centerville High School. Central Theater, and there'll be plenty of directional signs, so folks don't need to, to worry about finding it. But what can we expect as, on that day? So on that day, yeah. you'll see our current company, our current members. They'll be performing a selection of works that they've been building for the company during this year. We have a slightly different group every year, so the, the works are typically stay pretty fresh. They're pretty new. Some might be from uh, guest choreographers for the company, some from our resident choreographers within the company, some may be from our first company dancers also set works on the second company so it'll be a variety of different things uh, celebrating um, you know everything from civil rights to you know self-expression um, and all of it will be contemporary dance so um, now, a little bit yeah, different expl from, explain what contemporary dance sure. is because and I think we have um, a video that we can show with that is that a good explanation yeah. or a demonstration of yeah, what contemporary definitely. dance is so we'll we'll look at that um, video real quickly but so these are dancers from last year but maybe some of them are also part uh, of DCDC too. Well, this is this, this is from this year. Oh, okay. uh, this is actually a performance that we did with University of Dayton, who's another uh, university um, uh, partner with okay. Dayton Contemporary Dance Company. Um, so this set was this was this premiered back in March of this year at Bull Theater at University of Dayton. Um, so I think they might be doing this piece. I'm not 100% sure exactly which pieces they'll be doing for us in May. But um, so you can kind of see, you know, some some of the. The big characteristics of contemporary dance, they're not wearing ballet shoes, they're not on point, um, you know, they're, I'm not even sure they're wearing tights in this particular work. Uh, so the movements are a little bit more based in um, some more everyday movements, but okay. certainly they all have a foundation in um, ballet. Our dancers usually have, pre have studied everything along the years from yeah. ballet to um, uh, different styles of modern or contemporary mm -hmm. dance to jazz to uh, tap, everything in between. So. Uh, usually, you know, it, there's there's no rhyme or reason to to the music that's allowed for contemporary dance, if you will. Some has some is instrumental, sometimes no music, sometimes classical music. So um, it's just a different take from the the rigid upper body work of ballet that you can see. Yeah, there's usually like full body movement. It's usually very uh, very active. Very uses the the whole body. Uses some isolations of different body parts. It's usually de very a um, little bit more ground. Uh, grounded down into the earth um, movement. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of a, a good sampling of what we do. Okay, and again, this is going to be on Saturday, May 19th, 3 o'clock. You do not need tickets, and it is a free event. Correct. One of the nice uh, benefits and nice programs from the Arts Commission. Um, who is choreographing those? Are those choreographed by people who are in the company, or? Uh, so the works are that the, that 
DCDC2 carries are from a um, couple different tracks. Uh, we sometimes have guest choreographers that come in. Um, so they'll come from different areas around the country, from so for anywhere from Minneapolis to, uh, I think last year we had somebody that's from the Detroit area. So we might have you know national choreographers that come in and work with them uh, in a residency type setting. Um, sometimes it's uh, our, one of our in-house choreographers. So uh, Shauna Hickman Matlock has been the director of DCDC2 for a long time. She's also a choreographer in her own right, in addition to being a former Dan Contemporary Dance Company dancer. Uh, she's a teacher choreographer um, throughout the Miami Valley area, so she does usually does at least one or two works with them every year. Um, and then sometimes it's also a great um, avenue for our uh, first company members, Dan Contemporary Dance Company members, yeah. to um, uh, get their their choreographic chops as well. And so they'll get an opportunity every now and then to set works on the second company if that's something that they're uh, that they desire to do and something that our um, artistic leadership feels that they're ready to do. So you're going to see really a wide spectrum of of types of dance. I mean, I know it's yes. all contemporary, but all the each dance will be different. Yes, yes, different voices, different themes. Mm -hmm. and, and then also part of it too, part of the overall performance is we do, uh, so ZCDC2 does a lot of educational programming throughout the year. I mean, you can ask your kids, they've probably been in their classroom at some point in the last year or two. We do a lot of Mies Machine performances. We do a lot of um, programming in the schools throughout the Miami Valley area. Um, so that's just one thing that, that they're really good at doing. So there will be portions at, on the May 19th performance where the kids can get up and dance, uh, oh, dance great. with them, learn a few moves, learn a little combination. So um, a great way so, to expose your kids yeah. to the arts mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and as we said it's a free event and coordinated by the Arts Commission and Kristen tell us who the Arts Commission members are. Um, the Arts Commission is a volunteer board all appointed by Centerville City Council all Centerville City residents um, and we have 15 spots we currently have eight members it's a three-year term we are looking for new members if anybody's interested. Um, we and even though about, Michelle has extensive background in dance, you don't necessarily no, have to No, have, you, and you don't yeah. have to be an artist. Um, right. Just have an appreciation for the arts and interested in helping us plan um, events all throughout the year um, as it relates to the arts in Centerville. And so they can contact, they, you can go to our website, centervilleohio.gov, or you can call 433-7151, and we'll definitely get an application to you. But you really, the Arts Commission just has a full agenda. It's a nonstop uh, working group, but you don't have to be involved in every event either. No, definitely. So, yeah. um, as volunteers, <laughs> like, no, um, no, <laughs> and having um, you know a group of volunteers on the board, um, we definitely rotate, and, and it really just depends also what you're interested in yeah. and what your schedule is looks like. So um, we we do not force or you know require yeah. all of our members to come to every single event. Um, it's just really what they're interested in and what their schedule. Permits. And what's so great about a lot of the programming is it really does give uh, someone an introduction mm -hmm. if, if you've never seen contemporary dance or seen the music or um, various types of artwork. This, these are great programs that really give you a chance to, and, and they're typically free, which they're is nice free. too. Typically so free, they're right in your, your backyard. Yeah, bring your kids or you know, your family, come by yourself because you're definitely going to be entertained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it, um, how long is the show? It'd be about an hour long altogether. Okay. Okay. Uh, again, but you know, some dance, some portions for the kids to you know get up and dance with us. Uh, a little Q and A from the audience at the end. So about uh, it won't be more than an hour altogether. Okay, and that's a perfect time for for people as Definitely. well because yep. you can dance a little, move a little. <laughs> um, and learn a little bit as well. Um, for the dancers who were there, you, I know that you were telling us before we started the program that some of your dancers are not in this country at this moment. Sure. It's pretty fascinating. So our um, our main company, Dan Contemporary Dance Company, um, is uh, currently traveling through a uh, a program called Dance Motion USA, which is a program of the U.S. Department of State. Um, and uh, it's administered through BAM Brooklyn Academy of Music. Uh, so our dancers right now are actually, at this time, still in transit um, over to Kazakhstan for two weeks, and then they'll be going on to Russia for two weeks. Um, so yeah, so we're really excited about that. We've been working on that for a long time, and, and we're happy to, um, to be sending them uh, out into the world to be ambassadors not only for the United States and for U.S. contemporary dance, uh, but also for for representing uh, the Miami Valley. Yeah, I, uh, I totally agree. That's really amazing. You could right here, as you said, right in your own backyard, yeah. yard, you can come and see some fantastic dancing. Yeah. Um, no tickets required. Correct. So, and it's a free show, so 
you, it's um, on Saturday, again, Saturday, May 19th. And for people who want more information, is there a website you can go to for DCDC DC just to learn more about it? Sure, for the Contemporary Dance Company, it's just www.dcdc.org. Actually, if you don't mind, while you're there, make sure you check out our June 9th performance. We right. have an event coming up called Street Beats, another free performance, family friendly. Uh, we're going to be on Courthouse Square from 5 to 9. Uh, not only our first company and DCDC DC too, uh, but other schools from the area will be performing. Uh, we'll have some interactive activities for the kids. We'll have some kids. Uh, um, uh, we'll have face painters and other activities for kids, uh, food trucks. Um, so bring the whole family out oh, and it's pick a whole off event. summer. Yeah, it is. It nice. is. Nice. And Kristen, when we talk about the Arts Commission, we were saying there's lots of things going on. Something that we have every month, again, another activity you could do with your family free of charge is the art gallery at the police department. Yes, uh, located in the lobby of the yeah. police department. It's open 24-7 and we rotate those exhibits monthly. Um, so Jay Kenneth Grody is our current exhibit here for, for May um, and we'll have a new one in June. And we're pretty much booked all through the year. We're still looking for a December exhibit. Um, we had a request from the police department. They wanted a wintery theme, so we're trying to come up with something um, based on that, but we're pretty much booked for the year. So if you're out and about and you're going past Spring Valley Road, 155 West Spring Valley Road, you can zip in there. And really, it's very manageable. Um, always, though, really cool artists, and they're all local artists. Mm -hmm. Right. And we have two walls and one display case. And like you said, it's, it's pretty manageable. Um, you can spend as much time or as little time as you'd like and, and come back if you, if you want to see more. And again, another great way to expose your kids to art. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I take my little ones all the time to yeah. see what's in there. Um, but yeah, but we always are looking. So this is something that happens 12 every every month. Yeah, and you, every month. So we need 12 artists every year. So if, uh, if anybody knows um, an artist that would be interested in, in uh, being showcased, by all means, um, you know, Look right, contact Kristen would be yeah. the best thing yep. to do is to give her a call at 433-7151. And then, I don't know, I think you've, you've grown so much with so many signature events, but I think the summer concert series really is something that uh, our folks look forward to as well. That's for sure. June 3rd, um, every right? Every year we kick off June 3rd this year. Um, we go all the way until September 9th. Um, performances every Sunday at 7 p.m. We have some Saturdays in there. Um, just... I encourage you to check out the schedule, centervilleohio.gov. Um, also, the Americana uh, concert, July 3rd. That's a Tuesday. Um, but those are free concerts located at Stubbs Park Amphitheater, uh, 255 West Spring Valley Road. Those are, those are sponsored by all of our 50th anniversary yeah. sponsors. We're really excited and pleased with the support that we're getting from the community um, for our birthday. It's been pretty and incredible. And, <laughs> and, and we'll talk more about our, our big uh, anniversary celebration. But... For sure, um, throughout the summer, those concerts, bring your own seating. Yep. Concessions available. Bring, yep. Bring Again, your own a blanket, great way to um, enjoy the summer with your family. And there's a concession stand there available, or you can bring your own food. Um, you can bring your dog. Just ask that we ask that it's on a leash. Um, they're free. We do accept donations. There's volunteers there. And, um, and a great lineup. And I know, and it, it, it's, is it announced yet? I know it's it coming out in the town crier. It is. But, okay. it's, it's on the Centerville website. And we're just finalizing our flyer right now, but um, we do have information on the city's website, just a list of the, all the, and on our calendar. Okay, all these things the happening in warm and cheerful, <laughs> gold and cheerful Centerville. <laughs> right. So, Michelle, for uh, yes. moving expressions, what is the one thing that po folks should go knowing that they're going to get out of that? Well, we definitely hope that you leave uh, not only entertained and, and hopefully an appreciation for um, contemporary dance, uh, but that you leave inspired in some way. Yeah. Um, that's something that you see that in that uh, in that performance just kind of you know strikes a chord with you somewhere and just leaves you inspired to uh, just go out and, and make your own life a little bit more beautiful in some way. So. Oh, what a nice thought to leave on. <laughs> let's let's all go out and make our lives more beautiful. And dance really does do that. Yes. And I think um, now you don't have to be a kid to get up to dance, though. You, oh, definitely everyone not. Everyone can get up. Yes. And, and by all means. Okay. And will you be leading us? Like I'm going to be I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll probably at least be joining in. I'll be joining okay. in, though. Again, the event is called Moving Expressions. It is performed by DCDC2, which is the pre-professional group yes. with DCDC. And that is at 3 o'clock on Saturday, May 19th. It's at the Central Theater of Centerville High School. It is free, and you do not need tickets. So you can arrive and go right in and take seating. Yep. Um, great show for a family. It's a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon to get a little bit more culture and learn a little bit more about what contemporary dance is all about. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can give us a call at 433-7151 or visit our website, centervilleohio.gov.